Oh, hi. You looking for me? I heard you looking for Candyman, bitch. Hey, y'all. So, I'm Juicy <laughs> Monet, and today I have Miss D. Scott with me to talk about bitches that copy and think that shit is cool. So, with that being said, how do you feel about that? So, basically, let's start by telling people who you are. She is the owner and creator of Drenched by Juice, which is a set of lip glasses, glosses, lipsticks, uh, matte, sheer, all that. She's responsible for my elegance today. So, basically, she came to me, you came to me um, a couple weeks ago, and you had made a post about, I saw on your page, and give everybody your handle. Your Instagram for Drench. Oh, yes. Um, Let everybody know where they can find you. Drench by Juice is the business Instagram. You can also find me under Juicy Monet, which is my original page. Um, I am at <laughs> at miss.d.scott on Instagram, and then we'll discuss some other business stuff that's going on right now. So what I said to you, and I say this to a lot of young women all the time when I have mentoring and things like that, is that there's a misconception that flattery is the... You know, imitation is the highest form of flattery, and I think that's bullshit, okay? It's annoying, right? It's not even annoying, it's disrespectful, to some degree. So, let me give you an it's example. Like so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull some shit all that right here. Agree. So, this right here is called Savoir Faire. It's a cologne by Chris Classic, and it smells like very Tom Ford-ish, okay? It smells like Santal Blush, if you guys are familiar with that. Very expensive Tom Ford. So this is the purse size, and it's called Savoir Faire. He's a black owner. He's somebody that I know. He's a friend of mine based out of Atlanta. So I have several businesses as well, and we'll get to that later. And so I decided that I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I could do me a little cologne. That ain't nothing. Hey, that's not bad. I, see, I see him do it on the internet, they right? Do. Yeah. I seen him do it on the internet. I saw where he started it from inception to now he's in, I believe, like Saks Fifth follow, Avenue. You follow his whole journey, basically? Yeah, I know him in real life. Oh. See, see, the, see the problem okay. with this? So I know this person in real life, right? So when I'm looking at I'm looking at the packaging because I had to do my own, you know, shipment order and I'm looking at the labeling and I'm like, yeah, I could do that. But it wasn't on no hater shit. It was like, you know what? Maybe I could add my product hmm. to something like this and do it. I stopped myself. I was stop just right there. To say Look, I said, it. Denise, stop right there. This is somebody that you know personally. And the fact that I just ordered his product and I rock his product and rep it and I bought the product for my son, if I turn around and I hurry up and go get the same distribution, the same glass maker, you know, that you have shipping That's it out. in, go through the same process, I'm trying to, just because you sold out, because he sold out Black Friday, oh. he sold out Cyber Monday, and That's he sold out Small Business Saturday. So, hey, if I was a thinking person, I would say that if he's doing 100, you know, per batch, and he sold out of 100, 100 of those colognes, and they're $100 each one, I'd say we did pretty all right. Yeah, right? that's fucking good. But that does not mean that I'm going to be able to put my stamp on it and do the exact same thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's not about... Being a, listen, and, and there's an adage, oh, there's enough money for all this. Really, there's not. I hate. There's yo, not enough I, money. I, I hate I want that it all. statement. No, like, there's not enough yes, money for like all this. That's that why statement. some of us are poor as fuck. And so um. that's why some of us decide that we want to ride on coattails of everyone else because they see you maybe shining or doing a little good or doing a little great and making some revenue and making some money and getting that momentum, not realizing what had to happen behind the scenes, the failed product. You know, the products that were, what? you know, didn't come off, or the products that just didn't look good, or the product that wasn't good some product. Shit don't look good. Yeah, some shit don't if look you good. You pay so attention, a lot of shit I know. has changed. Like, right, you, you know, from branding to getting distribution to getting websites, like people don't look at how it costs the money. They don't look at the process. Yeah, it costs money to make money. So if you're going to disrespect me by it spending costs your money, money to make money, you got to okay? remember that. So if you're going to disrespect me by making my exact product or doing something similar to what the fuck I'm doing, yes, there's a lot of money out there. Don't step on my shit. So like when I first came in the game in 2013 with Zero Fucks, and I'm the owner of hashtag Damn, Zero F-U-X. 2013. Hashtag, yeah, almost six years. Um, so when I came into the business, of course, everybody's like, oh, so what? You know, I'm going to do t-shirts too. Cool. That's a different genre. Yeah, because that is different. Everybody has different ideas, mm -hmm. but I'm still here. So I could take this product and say, okay, I'm going to make me some perfume and I'm going to call it Sugar Boots. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? But can I maintain the same way That's that nice Chris Classic did? 
I probably can't. I don't have the same clientele. I don't have the same repertoire. He already was hashtagging classic love sense and, you know, yeah, hashtags. He was hashtagging shit for a long time. So for me to try to be cool and I'd be like, oh, and by the way, I dropped a cologne or I dropped a perfume, he's going to be like, boo, 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 hater, hater. You see what I mean? So, yeah, there is a lot of money for everyone, but I feel like if someone's literally copying your exact style, you can, listen, you could do everything that I do, maintain it. That goes from, you could steal my boyfriend, please go take him, take him wherever he wanna go. You're not gonna be able to feed him. He gonna come back. You ain't gonna be able to maintain it <laughs> because you are not me. You wanna steal my car, let's say it's Italian. Let's say it's an Alfa Romeo. You have to take it to get the maintenance check. You can't afford it. A lot of the shit that y'all do when you're copying someone else, you can't afford to maintain it. Ooh, so God, therefore, yeah, it costs money to make money. So therefore, if you can't maintain it, don't even try it. You just want to see it. And then that's I the other they thing. They know they can't maintain it until they Nah, until I know. I'm going to tell you how they know they maintain it. When you go into things with the intention just to make money, you're not going to be able to maintain it because the money's not going to yes. come. Yes. You genuinely like lip gloss. That's you true. genuinely like eyelashes. That's you true. genuinely like, you know, oils and, and scents. No, and that's 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 You genuinely <laughs> love that shit, right? I don't love that. So I can't what? take what you do and love it the way that you love it and then just say, oh, because I have $20, I'm going to order some stuff right. and then make Sell it, it. When you make it. The energy is not that. the same. No, you can't. So that's why these people fail because you went into it thinking that you were going to make $28.15 the way she did and you couldn't even make the 15 cents because don't nobody fuck with you like that. Mm. And then what you're doing is, especially in a small setting, so to me, imitation is not a form of flattery. Imitation is you a thief. You're stealing <laughs> shit. Another round. <laughs> Can we get one more? Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't want to walk into all right. Nah, you're good. So here's Juice's product, and it's called Drenched by Juice. So I call this one glass, and if you guys are following me on Instagram, at miss.d.scott, I actually wore it to the TIFF event where my friend Kalika La uh, debuted his movie Black Mother. So if you guys are wanting to see something a little bit, he's the same guy that did uh, work on Beyonce's project Lemonade. What? He also did, yeah, he's the one what? that did that gritty, you know, the gritty films where it was spliced up. He also did um, another that. movie called Feel Niggas, which actually came out, I believe, in 2014 in Brooklyn. So he was uh, coined by Time Magazine as Harlem's photographer. And if you are reading any of my books, The Pookie Chronicles, the actual image on the front of that book was actually done by Kalika La. So, and I think he's single, girls. Not for me, but for you. So here's her product. So this is what I mean when I say, so here's her product. She took the time to get it branded. She took the time to get all these things done. And you think that you can just come in and do this with a Ziploc bag? You can't do that. That's just like when I see people that still have the gilding tag in the back. I'm like, damn, we ain't got no iron on transfer to cover that up. You ain't even gonna cut the tag out. You just gonna let well, everybody I know that. you paid 287 for it. How dare you? I wonder that. You just how not, dare you? You can get a tag. I know. That's what I'm saying. Tags. Of course you can get. Tags. I don't know how, so you don't tell me. Yeah, no, I got, I got everybody for that. But that's what I'm saying is that if I'm gonna take the time to try to copy or to try to mimic with somebody. Child, I'm two years behind if I wanted to make some perfume, okay? Now, I messes with the shea butter, I messes with the oils, I, you know, I do that, I make my own conditioners and all that stuff. You make conditioners? Yeah, girl. Hmm. And now, with 716 CBD launching, I'm going to be making lots of things in conjunction with that. Would you repeat so, that? So, 716 CBD, you guys can go to 716CBD.com, it should be launched as of right now. Uh, there's bath bombs, there's butters, uh, there's also tinctures, so there's elderberry tinctures to knock your, uh, your pre-AIDS disposition out of your chest in the cold in the winter time, made with all organic uh, elderberries. And basically what 716 CBD is a holistic healing website where you're able to get the bath bombs that have at least 50 milligrams of CBD per bath bomb. I know that they're getting ready to run a special two for 22. In addition, it's not scary. It's very it's relaxing. relaxing. It feels okay. great. It's not, it's so relaxing. all their products are handcrafted. Every single one of them, every bath bomb, every shea butter is handcrafted. They're actually working on a formula right now to try to knock out eczema and just from the lotion, did I tell you what happened the day that I had my hands on the shea butter? Yeah. And dude, no. I couldn't feel my hands from up here. And I was like, oh, you can't feel I'm so your tired. Hand. 
<laughs> I'm gonna lay down the couch like a mummy. I was like, I'm so tired. I don't know. Oh God, because I don't smoke. I don't. I just drink. So 716 you, CBD. What you mean? You put a little bit on your hand. You rubbed it in. So basically, what CBD does is it's a cannabinoid. So it is part of the marijuana leaf, but it's not the part that has the THC in it. So what CBD does, and they just did these studies for autistic kids and things like that. So even in kids ages 14 and under, they're showing that medical marijuana is able to help. So what's going on right now in Vegas is that they're having what's called a green rush. So how we had a gold rush and how, you know, when everybody's going out there to do gold and then a lumber mm -hmm. rush and then the industrial period, right now they're having a green rush out on the West Coast in Nevada and states like Nevada as well as states like Colorado. So there are a lot of black growers that are out there, not a lot, but there's some. Uh, yeah. Shout out to G5 Cultivation, shout out to Jardin, uh, and shout out to Elixinol, which is a company based out of Colorado. Um, doing big things so hopefully we'll be able to partner with them going forward and you'll be able to see some 716 CBD products as of right now uh, there's a store on Military Road I can't think of the name of it but they will also be carrying 716 hemp it's the hemp oh. store across the street from the mall uh, my girl Carrie actually owns that so we will be trying to put the 716 CBD How products long has she in been there, there? She's only been there a month. Oh. So CBD is legal in all 50 states and there's, you know, no known people that have, you know, overdosed on it or anything. So basically, so let me get back to what you were saying. So when I decided, cheers to the business. So when I decided that I wanted to help out in the CBD industry, I basically went and looked at everything everyone was doing. So everyone's doing gummies, everyone's doing the edibles, everyone's doing oh, all these things. So gummies is good though. I know they're good, but if everyone's doing them, I don't want it. Oh, okay, that's just like community penis. It's just like community penis. If everybody's hitting it, shit. I don't want it. Turn down a pussy tree. Don't do the same shit. So I don't want to do the gummies because I feel like I want to stand out and be an innovator in whatever it is that I choose to do. So yeah, there's a lady out there. She makes a cannabis. So what I did was I took and I found the lady that makes the best product. She won a cannabis cup uh, for the Midwest when she was in Detroit. And it's, uh, it's called Cannabon. See, I'm not a hater, I can say it, but she makes six Cannabon. kinds of uh, cannabis-based uh, uh, CBD bonds. Each of hers have 100 milligrams of CBD in it. That's a lot. So, okay, so in a five ounce hmm. ball, 5.5 ounce ball. So this is the research that you have to do when you want to try to knock somebody off It's gotta be, because I'm okay. saying like, what? She also is a female grower, which means that she's growing her own plants, her own herbs, oh, all that serious. shit. Right, and I'm about five years behind. 716 CBD is, is five years behind. So, is she so like I would never. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so, okay. yeah, I mean, I watch her and we watch her and I stalk her page and see what she's doing, but I also noticed that she only had six. 716 CBD will have 15 bath bombs Ooh. with corresponding shea butters as well as I also noticed that okay with the edibles the people that won the edibles last year won on granola so let me get this straight granola you made a granola bar and drizzled some CBD on it I would have won oh I would have oh, ate, ate it too <laughs> but I, I don't want to do that because somebody already did it so now I have to you know we have to come up with something else okay to try to monopolize the market so with the shea butters, the lady that won for Topical last year at the Cannabis Cup, because the Cannabis Cup is like the Grammys of weed. So like Nas performed there last I need to year. Go there. Oh, I'm going. I believe it's in September this year. It's in High Times Magazine. So basically what happens is, is who won for CBD last year for Topical, I go on their page because I'm a stalker. And you gotta stop. You gotta I see, stop people. yeah, because I want to know. So yeah, I yeah. see that their packaging is amazing. Their price point is okay, but they only have one product. You have one shea one butter. One product? Good night. It won. <laughs> That's like a um, one hit wonder. Basically. Yeah, but like you won't win this year. I promise you that. One hit wonder. So basically with 716 CBD, all the shea butters and everything are, are, are handcrafted. They come in glass tinted containers just to make sure that the shea butter is from Africa. It's hand done. There's different oils that they put into it. In addition to at least 50 milligrams of CBD oil, okay? the oil, not the isolate, not the tincture, the oil. They also are doing right now, they noticed that there was nobody doing holistic healing with the CBD. People were just taking it for anti-anxiety, things like that. So they formulated an elderberry tincture. So the tincture 
basically is the only one on the market that I saw. So these are the things that you have to do if you want to try to not knock somebody off their game but enter into an industry, do the work first. Say Please, who is... research your shit. Yeah, research your shit. Like who's doing the work? Did you trademark that? Did you patent that? Did you copyright that? Did you buy your domain name? Did you get your email? Did you get all That's of these things? Of, it's a lot of shit. This, 716 CBD has been an inception since August 30th. Since August 30th, we've been talking about doing all that. I've really not said a word about it. I did yeah, a couple of hashtags here and there. Yeah. But the problem is, is that it's not because I'm worried about somebody doing what I do. You to can't do that. Is, is that if you're going to try to take somebody off their game, at least have enough respect to research them and take them out the game. I'm not trying to take you off the game. I'm trying to take you out the game. I'm, trying to I'm not to take friends them out the game. with anybody that's in the cannabis industry or in the CBD industry right now. So anything that I do is not a direct replica of what they do. But yes. to know somebody and then to see somebody try to you know, copy zero fucks, or somebody tried to say, oh, that was the other thing, um, my raging Reiki. So I do oh, run a raging that? Reiki. How was, how was that going? It's amazing. We have someone here that's came. So I do um, regular Reiki Hello. as well. But the raging Reiki really took off. Everybody's coming in there. They're breaking TVs with axes and hammers. We're at the NAC, we're in room 422. But here's what's funny, then I get the comparison level where people come to me and say, oh, there's a rage room. I'm like, I'm not a rage room. I'm an actual practitioner, which means that if you can go in a room and rage for 20 minutes, you should go to fuck to jail. Like, bitch, you crazy. Listen, something's I'm wrong. probably good. You can't. It's, it's 20 literally. Minutes? Think about it. An MMA fighter is in the ring for, what, six okay. minutes that you fresh are on? You're not, we're not MMA fighters. If you can rage for 20 minutes, you should go to jail. Why? Why you gotta go to jail? Because something think? fucking wrong. You need an evaluation. <laughs> People deal with their anger in different ways. I understand it that. Take 20 and minutes? I'm here for all the smoke. I want I want all your negative energy. Pew, pew. I want all your negative energy so we can dispel it in a safe, confidential, and um, private way, as yes, opposed to okay. you snapping the fuck out at work. Like I get lawyers, I get people coming in there, and I'm just like, you was walking around at work like this? Is everything okay? You know. So if you're gonna try to take me out of doing what I do first, you have to become a Reiki practitioner. Then it's you have to be study all the holistic. Be better. Than you can't right, be that's what I'm saying. Take me to fuck out the game then. You gotta level it. Nuclear. If you're gonna try to copy some level. of these things, just level it. Just level, level, level it. Level nuclear level explosion. Up. And then this way, it's just kind of like driving in a Chrysler next to a Bentley. Just turn your radio down and go on about your day. Don't even look at him. Let him play his music because we're embarrassed. <laughs> just keep it. But you tried it. Price, I mean, you Look, you tried it, and him. there's nothing wrong with a Chrysler. It just means you're not the same as the Bentley. Yeah, so, so when stop. the Bentley pulls up, if you can't pull up in the bigger Bentley, or you can't pull up in a helicopter, just turn your radio down and keep going. Sips tea? Not really. Not really tea, but... So now, what do you think about um, people, if they did try to copy you, or trying to copy me, or try to copy anything, what do you think about copycat? Um, hmm. I don't really Man too, like because y'all petty as hell too. I just feel like you gotta have a, a um you know, you gotta have a fucking plan. Like if you trying to copy me, your shit gotta top the shit I'm about to do. You can't be like You will be embarrassed. Yeah, like you can't just put something out just because you seen me do some shit because I'm gonna top that shit. Like it's just like And it's not just that. They don't know how hard you worked to find the distributors to find the branding to get the business what about the, uh, the friend that's trying to have the, the so called friend what about the friend that? oh you saying like if you have a friend that a friend. that's trying to copy, copy that? you I just was told a story actually the other day a story I'd love to hear listen it. um Tell my it. friend was telling me uh this lady was like doing bead necklaces or mm -hmm, whatever very common and she had this partner, you know, that came in. She was supposed to work with her. She taught her how to do it. And the girl started doing the beaded necklaces on the side. Like, she didn't even tell the girl. So, basically, she was taught something and she stole it. Even though you know she that knew comes the from? girl was going to do it anyway. That actually is something that comes from the 48 Laws of Power. And what it says is, so... is never be bigger than the master. You can't go and work under the master and then try to take the master out. Now, the book also contradicts. Oh, wait a minute. Right. The book also contradicts wait itself. Because if I'm going to do it, right, because if I'm going to do it, I'm taking you out. Yeah, I'm taking out the master. Listen, you right. teach me some shit and I'm going to copy you. Listen, you better Right, know and then we're not friends. I'm coming for your shit. And I do not care. Right? Like, I'm about but to, the thing is, is this on. isn't no karate kid situation. You know, that was the lady taught you how to do this shit and you took what she taught took you. It. Like, come on now. <laughs> My thing is, 
don't still try to be cool with me after you done tried to take my idea. Last announcement, more news. Oh, just drop the shit. I don't announce. Don't it? Good. It's, it's rare because for me to announce. Because now what happens is, is you're letting people know this is coming. I didn't even, did I ever tell you about the length? Did I tell you guys about the length that this one, there were actually two people um, that literally like every day stole what the fuck I said and put it on t-shirts. Oh no. Let me tell you the length of what these motherfuckers did. So I didn't know these two people were in cahoots. And these are two, like one is a major brand and one is a major hashtag for women especially, okay? I'll tell y'all off camera. So <laughs> the one bitch, cause I don't want them like trying to, girl, I'm gonna fly to San down. Francisco. Um, oh, well, so there we go. one of them Location. was like, I want to do an interview with you. Let's do a Skype interview. And I'm like, okay, this is probably about 2014 and so she's like well how do you do this and where do you get the ideas for doing this and where do you get the ideas for doing that and I was just like just whatever comes to my head da, 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 da. right so because people don't realize I'm crazy as fuck so Who a lot realize? of shit comes to my head and then I'm just like I have notebooks everywhere and I'm a writer so you're never gonna outwork me as far as words are concerned there okay go. dude I would say something put it as a as a caption on my Instagram it would end up literally on mm. one of their shirts the next day so no, there was deep. a that's saying, different. there was a saying, and it was like, always hungry, never thirsty. I can go all the way back to 2012 you know. and show you where I wrote that. Because sometimes I use social media as a notebook. Wait a minute, you Dude. said that? Yes. And they oh, put the shit, shit on a motherfucking shirt. Okay? Like, like the day after I said it, that's how I knew they were doing it. So I'm like, how the fuck are these people? It's like they're in my head. They was watching no. you. They had a third party that also ran a business calling me interviewing me now i learned a long time ago not to tell people your next moves but for the most part come on now you know for the most part right she there. i was like well where's the interview and and what happened with this and this is and this and then i started cross-referencing the friends oh y'all was friends trying to fucking play me oh y'all real funny style so watch this i went on my my show because i also have a show on blog talk radio called stay in your lane with Spanish. d scott on blog on blogtalkradio.com and I just basically obliterated them. So I literally stopped talking. I literally would say some shit and make my captions this long now. They're this long. If you want to take like a three words, you can read through the whole thing and listen to what the fuck you I said. Us, you want. So I basically, yeah, you're going to have to get a highlighter now because that motherfucker ruined it for y'all because every time I turned around and then I had to block them off my page because if I did a scully hat, they would turn around and do a scully hat. Uh, I did no, a, that's I that's did, that's really your skin. I did, um, I do a couple of, um, rider crews for ride for roswell for cancer research for zero fucks so i always do them a specific type of hat that they can give away they can wear dude they took the exact same hat they found the distributor because it's not hard i could look it's at really a shirt not hard, yeah. yeah i could look at a shirt and be like oh they got a what is that american oh, yeah, right. apparel 16.99 american apparel selling for 80 now in the store mm -hmm. change or tag <laughs> no gilding tag if i see get your shit and that shit say gilding on the inside i'm upset I'm upset. No, Gilda. I don't know where to You can get you it online for two ninety nine. You can also get it at Walmart. Okay, and to stop putting shit on champion shirts too, because they get upset and they will fucking sue you. And that's another thing a lot of people do. They talk so much, and I say, oh, I didn't even tell you about. They stole from my son. There is a very popular rapper. And he got tweeted about this, remember? My son had a book called uh, Journey of a Kid Trying to Be a King. The artwork was done by Darren Winslet, which is the guy that did my other cover artwork for my old show. So it's a picture of the universe in my son's little afro, and you know it's on the cover of the book. If you look at the cover of the God Box, which is David Banner's uh, CD Not that came out to yeah. With his CD. No, I got one better for you. So his CD came out two years after my son's book. Dude, we tweeted him like, this what y'all doing? Y'all stealing shit? And okay, the dude that it. actually did the artwork, okay, I went back on his page. So I'm like, did you steal it or did he steal it? So you think people aren't paying attention to you, but they really are. But wait, there's more. Someone had a brand that they were running around with t-shirts. And I said to her, I said, listen, and we both know her. I said, Either trademark it, LLC it, do something oh, because know. if you know who I'm talking about, I said because yes. if you don't, someone's gonna steal it that has more money than you and could quickly get it trademarked. She doesn't listen to me. Don't you know? A year later, same dude came out with the same name. Same of dude. Apparel. 
So now, David Van. And you know, and you know what I'm saying? Most people be like, great minds think alike. You're not great. You a copier. That's the debate. Knock it off. Facts. Don't tell me great minds think alike. Don't even put me with you. I need to um, find and <laughs> confirm that I agree. <laughs> well, look. It motivates you. Yeah, it's just like, oh, you did it like that? Oh, you ain't know what I was capable of. It's kind of like you wake me up, right? I be sleep, like, I be like, oh, okay, I'm Yeah, and you cool. think that everybody then, gets down in business the way you do it. You're like, bitch, did you just do that filthy shit? Yeah, and Sit then tight. something like There's it. more. Come on now. You gotta have your shit intact. Cause as soon as I see, I'm going to attack that shit. It's crazy. Listen, <laughs> no, I'm I was pull everything out. I bring out the props. Bitch, I will bring out the person. I will bring your cousin. I don't know what you need me to do. <laughs> like, I will put this lip gloss on a whole ass. Like, right, listen, I will put this shit on your door. I will draw on your door. <laughs> Zero Fox has been around since 2013. A lot of people are like, oh, I never heard of it. Bitch, you seen it. Stop fucking mm -hmm. playing with me. So, the best selling feature is. <laughs> stop, fucking. Stop, stop fucking playing with me. You know what the fuck about. You know what time it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Scullies are my, and actually it's on www.zerofuckshop.com. Zero so basically, the best selling feature is the Scully. So, don't tell me that you didn't see my product just because you don't fucking wear it or you want a discount. Oh, and you also have to away for free because Not you didn't respect you want a discount. It. Yeah, you didn't respect it when it was free when I couldn't give it away at a hair show. Now, all of a sudden, somebody on the West Coast wearing it in their little ski tournaments and now you want to... Be friends and shit. Boy, fuck you. Oh, they do be like Not that. just that. They be like, oh, why don't you? Mm, mm, mm. So listen, nothing's free. So now, okay, so now what done. ends up what ends up happening is is that as long as you own it and you run it, you don't have to. I'm not competing with Fashion Week. I have a lifestyle brand, so that means that I had to think about other things like coffee mugs. Somebody might not want to wear zero fucks across their shirt. Somebody might not want to wear zero fucks on a scully. They might want to be like in the closet, zero fucks like. You know what I'm saying? So we make stuff for them too. So we have, my son is now 14, he'll be 15. So he's coming out with um, an 1111 collection. If you guys aren't familiar with angel numbers, 1111 is an angel number. So he wanted to come out with his own brand within the company, so it's a capsule collection. So that will be on zerofuckshop.com within the next, I believe, six weeks. He's doing a drop for that. It's all my son. And, and a lot of things that I do are not just for me. I don't have to worry about Right, because I don't yeah. want him having to work in regular corporate America. I want him to be like, Please you know what, I'm in school, I'm, and he's acting, and he's doing all this stuff. So, it's, you know, I don't want him to be that, that starving video. artist. You know what I'm that. saying? That's like his fifth play, and he's in an August Wilson monologue competition as well. So, you know, everything I do is to leave a legacy for my son or leave a le legacy for my nieces or young ladies that are out there. So I try to mentor people to tell them, like, I made the mistake of doing this and, you know, I wasted money. I made the mistake of doing that and I wasted time. Or I made the mistake of doing this. So I try to stop y'all from doing all these things Wasting that you time. think you have to do and spending money because we're all single moms. That's we're the all, thing. It's some stuff you, you can know. skip. Yeah. Definitely, you know, or, or get stuff later on, but then there's certain stuff that there's no way around it. You know, like, I, I caught myself a couple of times without business cards, and oh, you look so unprofessional when you're trying to tell somebody that you do something and you don't have the card for it. So that's like me going to the cannabis cup and then I don't have any of my product or I don't have, I, I'm always ready. I always got something in my car, whether it's some damn crystals, a shirt, a hoodie, a scully, I need a crystal. A damn bag. Can I get bomb. another one? I got some. I got a whole bunch of crystals. In your car? No, I didn't. I took them out the car. Actually, I just took them out the car. So, but I do have bricks in my car. Brick I, I don't want a brick. You do want a brick. It's for protection. <laughs> Listen to your auntie now. As long as you own and you run your shit, and you don't do things based out of money. I don't sell any of this stuff based on money. That's why I end up making the money. Uh, so people always ask me, and I'm going to tell you something uh, else that I just saw on Shabazz, the OG, his vlog. He was saying that a lot of people are being tricked into talking about their finances without an NDA. Because, honey, I asked somebody I was dating for an NDA. He ain't signed the shit. But like I said, I said, I don't discuss money with motherfuckers I don't share DNA with. If we don't share a last name or DNA, don't ask me nothing about my motherfucking $3. I only got $3. That's all I have. Okay? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. What, I don't care what they said. I got $3. That's, that's how you get an audit. That's how that's you end up having oh, to pay taxes. Okay. okay? So, Shabazz the OG was saying... You know, that there's a lot of us, especially in the African-American community, that we think that because we don't see the money that it's not there. You would be okay, very silly to think that motherfuckers are just out here running businesses, paying business license taxes, and no having money. websites with no money, with $3. You would be very silly to think that. But if you're not making the money and, like, you can't fathom, put it this way. Supercent that owns the crayon case oh my God. made a million dollars in 90 minutes. 
She me personally, don't. I wouldn't have fucking told nobody that. Why does she oh, no. because, well, well, because, because she's I'm, very good spirit. No, no, no. She definitely wasn't bragging. She's very good spirit. Spirit. She's spirit. She comes from a good place. Yeah. But the, and she just bought her mama a house today. Okay. So while everybody what day sitting here, this, she make this. Okay. It was on Black Friday. Oh yes. Okay. I know she what the day. sold one million dollars worth of products. But okay. now let me tell you why she also made that kind of money because she actually loves what she was doing. She was doing tutorials on YouTube. But now, nigga, girl, you see her old tutorials where her um. Her eyebrows look like sparrows. No. Look like seagulls. Stop counting other people's money thinking that just because she made a million dollars in 90 minutes that now all of a sudden, because there were a lot of people that's that tried to copy move. her. Yes, that's how they move. The they move. They had something. the same case and everything. So guess what happened? So she does like what a lot of people do. She ordered a product from them. And when it came, it came from China. She was like, no, I had my palette hand done. Ain't nobody yes. ever complained that the girl, they said when they ordered on Black Friday, the shipping, the, the tracker number went out like 20 minutes later. Cause that's shipping is another issue yeah. when you run a business. Like you gotta be like, do I calculate the shipping for this? Like me, all my products, I can ship overseas, whatever, whatever. I prefer priority mail, so you know. You it is what it is. So a lot of people ask me like, how come you don't post as much anymore about what you're doing? And like, I'll just show up in Alaska. I'll show up in Vegas or sitting yeah. on somebody's plane or something, or in somebody's back of somebody's car, and you don't know I'm there because I don't need you like wishing that you know my plane would crash. Oh, Cause some of y'all broads yeah. is like that. And like I tell people all the time, if I have no ill will for anybody, if only if me and you only have one thing in common and that was a community penis, we're fine. I'm good. You can have it. It's all yours. You're the man. You're the woman. You keep You're that. The man and you the keep woman. you keep that because I'm good. I can give you a hug, I can say hello, I can I can do whatever, but like I'm never gonna argue over a motherfucker that I don't share a last name with. I'm not gonna argue over nobody raggedy son, I'm not doing that. Because I give zero fucks. Matter of fact, let me give you back your raggedy son down there in Texas. Here, ma'am. Did a terrible job. Oh! Oh. And I can just hope that I do better. So I don't have any ill will towards anybody, but like, I hate when people like all of a sudden now think like they have to have animosity towards you because oh. you guys used to mess with the same community penis. Like, that's it's okay. How it is. I was in a bad place. Need a little help. <laughs> I recycle. I recycle. Nothing more, nothing less. We good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you have feelings for said person or people or whatever, but I really don't give a fuck. I'm just here for the dick and sandwiches. I mean, that's just... What kind really of sandwiches? Calamari sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so, in closing, basically all I'm trying to tell you and I'm trying to tell young women everywhere, you know... If women points. don't like you or men don't like you because of a dude, what do you think that they're gonna do when you start making some money? When you start really getting to that shmoney? I feel really like that shit like is you. like it's, it's corny. Kind of, yeah. Because it's like you it's know, you work sad. a regular job, I work a regular job, and then I have eighteen jobs, and you have fourteen jobs, and we're mothers, well, and we're regular job. you know, we we got all. Oh, I love my regular job. I mean, though. I like it. I just but I, I am I'm growing tired. Do it. I, don't I am growing it. tired because of the anxiety issue. Because we literally work in Gotham City. So Gotham City, girl, we work in Gotham, motherfucker. When they when the police looking for somebody, they always where we work at. So oh, the gosh. bottom line, you understand what I'm saying? If there's a murder, it's somebody that we just saw. If there's oh, you know, yeah, a crackhead yeah. running through the street hitting people with golf golf bags, they was just at our job. What so them yeah. Okay. So in closing, you always have to make sure that you're protecting your energy. So like what we said with Super Scent, you're gonna start to see her, especially when she has this little girl, close everything off. And that's basically what I've done on my pages. You guys, hopefully you follow me at miss.d.scott. Make sure you follow at 716CBD. And on there, it'll take you to uh, 716CBD.com where you can schedule your Raging Reiki appointments. And it's about to be lit. 2019 has already just begun. I'm always happy to come and share the wealth with you. And I don't even charge her for this. <laughs> She the only one get my time for don't free. Don't charge me. I'm new. Don't charge me. <laughs> you got money. Start charging me fourteen dollars. No, an hour. A, a minute. A minute. Ooh. You got it. But in closing, give everybody Girl. your information so they can follow us and make sure that we have some followers. Listen, shows. listen. All my information is 